if you are a javascript developer then why you have to use this ai instead of chat gtp and what is the difference we have between this particular ai and the chat gtp and why it's powerful for the javascript developer and the python developer so in that video i'm going to give you a complete walkthrough of this particular ai if you are a javascript developer then you definitely watch this video till the end okay so the best part of this ai is that this ai is also built by OpenAI. those who build the chat gtp and this particular AI is dedicated to the JavaScript development and the Python development. So this interface divided in three parts. So here you will have the output. Here you have to give the command and here you will have the code. So in chat GTP, what happens whenever you give any command, you get the code, but you don't get the visual representation that how the code will look like actually on the browser. And that's the problem solved by this AI. And here you will see that how the code is looking on your browser and you can test right up here. Here you will give the command and here you will have the code. You can easily able to do the editing. Okay. So here from here you can easily able to clear it. From here you can export. And if you click here, here you will have all the instruction. You can easily able to read. And they have a couple of test examples which you can utilize. So okay. So the one I would like to go with the this first one. Okay. So I'll simply come here and I'm going to simply copy that one. All I have to do is to simply paste here and I have to run this. So this is the instruction I have given. To this AI and this AI started writing the code for me. Okay, so basically what I want to build is I want to make a snow storm on the black background. Okay, so I have said that I want to build a have a black background and I want to build a snow storm. So let's wait and let's see what code is generate what exactly we can see right on our front end. Okay, that looks pretty good. So they have built this entire function. You can see it's looking absolutely incredible and you can add more command to this, more command to this. So this is one example we have. If you come here and they have multiple examples. So if I come here, here we have a couple of things. So I want to create a, let's say, simply copy that one. So I want to create a red ball bouncing around the screen. Okay, so this is what I want to create. So first I have to do is I have to simply refresh the browser. Now I have to simply paste this. So I want to make it a, make a red ball around the screen so this is the command i have given if i make this call and it's going to write the code for me so just wait it's writing so it taking the div and it's applying all the styling using javascript so, okay there is no html no css all the things you can see it's focus on the javascript so just wait let let it be complete so these are the frame if else statement it's adding and it's getting the information about the side balls okay so you can see that it's generated this ball which can bounce and it can look like something this okay it's looking absolutely perfect just imagine that if you want to create this kind of functionality you have to write so many code and it will take close to half an hour to build this okay how easily you can generate this and you can give comment to this okay if i want to increase the size of the ball i can simply say it I N C R E A S increase size 4x you just give this command it will increase the size you can see it's increasing the size it looks big so you can do a hell lot of things if you want to change the background so you can say background black head and door and you will have a black background over flow hidden hidden just save it and you will have overflow hidden it will not overflow at all you have removed the side scroll bar so it's looking perfect if you want to increase the speed of this circle you can do that increase speed 4x and you have to give the command and it's going to increase the speed so it's writing the code and you can see it's happening very fast so just imagine that you are getting a live visual representation of the code you will have this entire code and you can easily able to do the editing from here you can click here you can delete you can edit it you can do a hell lot of things if you want to add any image you can give the instruction so here i have written the commands okay so if i want to add i'm going to simply copy that if you want to add image you can do that so this is how you can do it so all you have to do is to provide the image path so here I have said that add this image and I have called this rocket and here I have simply provided the link of that image. So make sure to remove this comma and SRC and all you have to do is to click on this and it's going to add this right in the screen. So just wait, it's writing the code 
and it will do very quickly. So here it's added the in green. So here it's added the images on the screen. So if you want to resize the image, you can say that resize to 100 pixels, 100 pixels. Hit enter and it's going to resize the image. And if you can easily able to place this wherever you want, if you want to make it center, you can do that. Place at center and it's going to understand you and it's going to make it in the middle so just wait and here you will have this rocket in the image so you can do a lot of things if you want to add movement on the mouse over effect you can do that so add <clears throat> move image on mouse over so it's going to add the event. So whenever you over your mouse, it's going to move the image. So it's all about your imagination that what function you want to include. So if you can see, I can easily able to move wherever I want. I can easily able to move that. It's so powerful that it saves a lot of time to know about this AI. And it's really very fascinating. It's saving me a lot of time when it's come to writing any small program. I don't need to spend huge time to build the logic, write the code and then test. All I can do is to give the command and it's generating me the code and I'm testing and applying on the actual project. So it saves a lot of time. As a developer, you don't need to get scared that it's going to take your job. Ultimately, you can see that we are writing the code, we are tweaking, we are providing all the commands like in the size, coloring and the logic, okay? So it's all about your creativity, okay? The, you have to give the instruction in detail, the kind of logic you want to build. So hope this video helped you a lot and it will save you a lot of time because if you want to become a web3 developer or a front-end developer or a blockchain developer you have to go be good with the javascript so you can utilize these snippets of code to understand that how they have built the logic and how you can optimize this entire code even in more amazing way so hope this entire video makes sense to all of you if you still have any confusion any doubt and i just want to ask you one thing that if you guys really want me to build a game using this ai then do let me know in the comment section and that i will show you that how you have to give the command to the ai to build a project okay you can build anything using javascript so do let me know that how many of you are really interested having a project on this ai and which in to enhance your javascript skills so do let me know in the comment section with that i'm ending this video hope to see you in the next video